Alright guys, how's it going? New Age here, your coach of the Antelope Valley Agrons. And uh, this week we are taking on U-Turn Crobat and the new London Zorox. Um If you recognize that name, it's because he is from the NPCC, our last competitive league that we were in together. Um, and we're battling against him in week one, so that's going to be interesting. Um, <laughs> two things I want to say. First... Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this music. It's interesting. It's kind of like elevator music. It's just really funny to me. Um, and second, uh, I really like our team this week. Alright, so... I don't really know if I team built, built this right, but I had fun with it, and it should be interesting. Um, I'm terrified of being swept by a scarf uh, Moxie Salamance, which I do believe very much so that that can happen. Um, especially because I don't really have anything to stop it once it gets to a certain extent. Um, and what else? What else? Um, I didn't exactly... I wanted to stray away from giving my Pokemon coverage on like every single... Like, giving every single one of my Pokemon coverage for all of their Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it's... It's kind of hard to do that, you know? One Pokemon have coverage over like 11 or 12 Pokemon, something like that. Um... So yeah. So yeah. I... I kind of just more so had the idea of like... Each Pokemon will have a purpose, and hopefully it can fulfill that purpose. Uh, so in the bottom right, you'll see over here, this is a... Uh, um, U-Turn Crobat's team, or Brad's team is his name. Anyways, um, so he's got Salamance, Mega Blastoise, Galvantula, Nidoqueen, Bisharp, Gorgeist, Embor, Cradley, Alakazam, and Gramble. So, uh, th these are six that I decided to bring here, uh, all together. We got Grape Drank, the Vaporeon, Veins for Days, the Conkledur, Wolfgar, the Mega Alakazam, Dig Dug, our Excadrill, Night Light, the Zebstrika, and Non Dairy, the Slurpuff. Um, and I think I have a thing that I made that's like, this is why I chose each Pokemon. And I need to find that really quick. Not find it. I have it. I have it. Okay, okay. Um, what order do I want to go? And this in. Okay, let's let's start off with Grape Drank, okay? Alright, so for this one, I decided to go with a specially defensive uh, Rocky Helmet variant. Just because I could go defensive, but this is more so to kind of take on Mega Blastoise. Because otherwise, like, my team can take on Mega Blastoise, but not without getting, like, severely, like, damaged first. And I felt like Grape Drank was like my best option to take on Mega Blastoise. Um, but only if it was specially defensive. If it's defensive, it can almost get two hit KO'd by Dark Pulse. Um, and I'm not really about that life. So yeah, Blastoise is just really strong. Um, and I also decided not to give it defense investment because yeah, Gore Guys could kind of be a thing. Um, and I know we don't take like... We probably won't take knockoff well from uh, by sharp and um, I mean that's really it. I know we're not gonna take attacks well from Salamance, um, but mainly so it was like max HP, max defense. We barely take a wild charge, so I was kind of like, you know what? It's not really worth it. I'd rather have the special defense to take on Mega Blastoise and then be able to like somewhat punish uh, physical attackers as well with uh, the Rocky Helmet. Um, I don't know. I kind of was like, eh, about, uh, leftovers. I, this, this set is really weird. Um, so anyways, for the attacks, we got Substitute, uh, just because if he's a fat Gorgeist or a max size Gorgeist, we will outspeed it. Uh, so that'll allow us to, uh, sub on his potential Will-O-Wisp or Leech Seed. Uh, things like that, and same goes for Craterly, I'm pretty sure we outspeed that either way. Uh, we also outspeed Grand Bull, I believe it's at 45, uh, so that thing can't T-Wave us. So a lot of things, um, 
that will potentially try and status Vaporeon that I can freely get a sub up against. And sub would be really nice just for things like uh, Embor and stuff like that. Um, next I brought Toxic to kind of handle uh, everything else, you know. Nothing really appreciates being toxic on his team. Um, and anything that I wouldn't toxic, I would just hit with Ice Beam, basically. Uh, toxic will help me wear down the Blastoise. Granted, it could have, like, Refresh, but it doesn't have reliable recovery like Vaporeon does in Wish. Um, and then Ice Beam hits, like, everything else, really. Um, Ice Beam is good for Salamence. If I decide to stay in against that, and hit it, and then if it wants to hit me and knock me out first, it takes damage. Um, and then Ice Beam, I think like 2 hit KO's Needle Queen, and I think we got Speed Needle Queen too. I'm not 100% on that one. I don't want to go into uh, my other team builders though. Let me check this out real quick. Needle Queen, how fast are you? I think it's like 70 some speed to be honest, so it should outspeed us. Yeah, 76. Uh, so it will outspeed us. Um, but yeah, Ice Beam, um, since we are specially defensive, Needle Queen shouldn't, will not be able to like one-shot us, and I don't even think it could two-hit KO us while we do like over half with Ice Beam. Um, so I felt like Ice Beam was a good uh, choice right there, and I didn't want to bother bringing Scald because he has all these grass Pokemon, Cradily with Water Absorb, and Blastoise. Granted, the Scald Burn could be helpful, but Toxic would just wear him down so much faster anyways. Um, and I think Ice Beam would do so much to Salamence, it's not even worth trying to waste time getting a Scald Burn on it. Um, and then last, I got the four um, EVs in speed, just to kind of speed creep, um, what is it that's at 65? <laughs> uh, Embor. Embor, alright, this isn't really to speed creep it, um, but this is like, by the off chance that he brings like a full on bulky Embor, um, we have a chance to like, go first and toxic it before we die you know something like that um otherwise i was like you know what because four in special attack it's like big deal but four in speed could actually make a difference if he decides to uh n not have any speed investment i know it's a long shot but it's just a random thing um that i was like sure why not all right all right so that's grape drank right there uh let's see let's talk about excadrill next all right Alright, so I decided to bring an Air, Bo Air Balloon Excadrill here. Um, I'm pairing that with uh, Slurpuff, just because I am so afraid of being swept by a Salamance. Uh, so, Slurpuff stops him from just spamming Outrage, obviously, and Excadrill stops him from spamming Earthquake. Um, I really don't feel like I need rocks 100% in this game. Uh, but I do have them if I get the option. Uh, but really, this isn't here to get up rocks. It's here to help stop Salamance from sweeping. Uh, it also takes a Outrage from a plus one Salamance. Not well. It, it'll do like 75 to 80 percent. But we can take one and get off a um, whoa, and get off a hmm. I remember I couldn't decide between Rock Slide or Iron Head. Why did I choose Iron Head? Uh... Oh, okay. Alright, yeah. I'm cool with that. Um... So yeah, don't let me get off like an Iron Head. Um, I'm really trying to keep Excadrill in the back. Just in case he starts going crazy with Salamance, because then I could bring this out and he has to switch and undo everything. And that's a time where I could get up rocks, you know? Um, so I wanted two things to reliably like prevent him from sweeping with Salamance. And I felt like these two uh, together could do the job well. Um, let's see, let's see. I mean, really, there's not much else that I have it for. Um, it's good against Gramble because Gramble can't Earthquake me and he can't Thunder Wave me, at least not right away, so I could easily outspeed him, go for an Iron Head, maybe flinch him if I'm lucky. Um, Iron Head does a decent amount even after I'm intimidated, 
and if not, he still has to hit me with like a play rough or something before he can actually hit me with Earthquake. Uh, so Excadrill is really cool on that part. It also uh, can hit Craterly, even though I'm not really expecting him to, but I guess if he did, I would understand it. And then obviously like Earthquake uh, for things like Needle Queen, it can't hit me with uh, Earth Power first. Um, by Sharp, I could hit with Earthquake, you know, a lot of useful things. Um, and then Mold Breaker, not really useful for this game. It's not really going to do anything, but better to be safe than sorry. I don't see him bringing, like, sand at all, so there's no point in trying to use that against him. And then our, uh, Hazard Remover, if we really need it. Um, a lot of what we have, I don't think is, I mean, I guess we could be weak to hazards, but I don't think it's the worst thing ever. Um, also, I don't even think he has a Pokemon that gets spikes on his team. I know Toxic Spikes and Stealth Rock, but my team isn't. I mean, my team takes neutral from Stealth Rock. But anyways, you know, standard Jolly Max Attack Max Speed, a little bit in defense. Maybe we take a uh, move from Salamance a little bit better. Uh, so that's what that is there for. And then I figure I might as well talk about uh, Slurpuff next, aka Non Dairy. Uh, this one is an interesting set. I had to go back to my notes for <laughs> what I did here. Alright, so obviously it's so he can't uh, just spam Outrage with the Scarf Moxie Mance. That's I can't stress that enough. That's what I'm most afraid of. I might lose to something else. I might just win. You know, that'd be cool too. Um, but this is why I brought it for. So that isn't like an option that he could just sweep me with that. Um, so let's see. So if I could get up to plus 6, I can sweep pretty easily. Uh, do a lot of damage to everything. Um, the Eevees, okay, yeah, the Eevees that I gave it is enough speed to outspeed a Scarf Salamence. Um, after Unburden, obviously. Um, so even if he is Scarf, if the Citrus Berry goes away and we take a hit, then um, we'll be faster than him the next turn and can take him out with Play Rough, even if he's, uh, even if we're not at plus six, he'll still die to Play Rough. So that's always an option as well. Um, I gave myself a sod just because, um, obviously Needle Queen resists Play Rough and Drain Punch, and I wanted something in case I got burned as well because, or just status in general, he has a lot of status on his team. Um, and Facade, if I am statused, does one-shot Needle Queen, and I actually don't think he one-shots Blastoise, which is crazy, um, but it will do an enormous amount. Uh, so Slurpuff is going to be a lot of fun this game. I decided after the speed to outspeed Mence and enough, uh, I just gave it even EVs, so after I belly drum, Citrus Berry will always get off. Um, other than that, I dumped the rest into defense because, like I said, a lot of his team is physically, uh, our physical attackers, the ones who are special attackers, like Needle Queen, I'll die from either way. I'm pretty sure that's the case with Alakazam too, so I figured I might as well put it in defense so that way I could potentially take hits better from his defensive Pokemon. I have more of a chance to live a defensive hit than a special defensive hit is what I'm trying to say. So that's why I just dumped the rest into defense. And other than that, pretty simple set. So Slurpuff and Excadrill together will hopefully not get swept. Help me not get swept. Um, let's see who's next. <clears throat> Conk? Yeah, veins for days, my boy. All right, so we got AV Conk here. Um, AV max special defense? Is that necessary? I guess. I wanted... Alright, here's the thing. I wanted something to be able to help me with Needle Queen. Granted, I don't think I need that much help from Needle Queen. And also, this helps me... I mean, this will help me take a hit, I guess, from Alkazam, like, for sure. <laughs> max HP, max special defense, assault vest? Like, there's no way. I actually... <laughs> I want to calc that right now. Can I live? There's no way I get one-shotted. Like, what is the point of all this? There's no way. I have to know now. I don't even think that's the thing I calc'd. Alright, Assault Vest. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, I'm not max HP. I'm just max Special Defense. Let's see. Oh yeah, I do take a Psychic though, and Knockoff blows this thing back. Alright, um, also Conk is mainly here so I don't get swept by, um, by Sharp. It's really simple. But anyways, I'll, I'll go over the stuff that I, that I said. Um, let's see. Yeah, because I don't really want to 100% rely on Vaporeon to take on, um, 
to take on Blastoise because I know it could get a little sketchy. Um, it's more so if I have to, but it'd be nice to be able to use Vaporeon on other things as well. Um, and I did want more coverage, like um, Ice Punch would have been awesome just to be able to hit Needle Queen and hit uh, Salamance. But honestly, if either of those come out, um, I'll probably just go for knockoff because that helps me get rid of some form of item. A life orb from uh, Needle Queen or a potential scarf from Salamance, which if Salamance isn't scarf, then it's so much easier to deal with. Unless he's Dragon Dance, then that kind of sketches me out, but that would be kind of a late game thing. I'm sure he'd assume I had Ice Punch up until I revealed that I don't. Um, and Mock Punch, I really want priority just because it gets off any last minute damage that I can. Especially if I'm burned or something, like, Mock Punch will do a solid chunk before I go down to anything. And Mock Punch one shots by Sharp, um, regardless of burn or anything like that. Um, so Mock Punch is great for last minute damage or just one shotting. Um, by Sharp, Drain Punch is good recovery and if I'm status, uh, it'll help me take on Blastoise really well because I'll be hitting it for some solid damage. And knockoff is for things like Needle Queen, uh, maybe even Gramble if it wants to switch into that. It hits Alkazam, it gets rid of Salamence's item, and it hits Gorgeist, which especially if it does decide to burn me, knockoff will be doing way too much. <clears throat> um, and I could kind of just spam that. And then Thunder Punch for the Blastoise. It, it does suck to kind of just only have Thunder Punch for the like have thunder punch only for blastoise but i mean i kind of i don't know that's just the thing i decide on uh but we got max attack uh almost max special defense and i decided to give myself eight uh evs in speed because uh another speed creep scenario here his gramble is also at 45 speed um so if he does decide to dump like say four more evs into uh his last four into speed for Gramble, then this will make it so I like double speed creep him. I don't know. This will make me faster, uh, which will be cool because if he's like low enough, you know, I don't have to go for Mach Punch. I can go for like a Thunder Punch or something and get off a little bit more damage or knock off his item or whatever I feel like doing if that situation um, appears before me. Um, so, all right, all right. Alkazam. Let's go, Wolfgar. Let's see uh, what your story is here. All right, all right. Um, it's pretty simple. It's more so just coverage for everything that I felt I needed coverage for. Um, Energy Ball, once again, is really only for Blastoise. Um, just because I feel like Blastoise is so bulky that not a single Pokemon can take it on. Like 1v1, I feel like I'll need multiple Pokemon to take it on. And Energy Ball does a lot. Um, and I don't really need other coverage, uh, cause Dazzling Gleam 2 hit KO is by Sharp anyways. Um, and Focus Blast, I don't think would have done me any good against anything else. If anything, just Cradley, but I'm sure Psychic can like 2 hit KO or do like decent damage to it. Um, so Energy Ball, Psychic, obviously like Stab and like for Needle Queen and Embor, which is amazing. Um... And then Dazzling Gleam for things like Bisharp and Salamence. Um, and then Substitute, just so that way he can't come in and just Sucker Punch me with Bisharp and then kill me. Uh, and again, it helps because he has a lot of other status uh, Pokemon on his team. So Substitute is going to be really nice because basically what can happen is he brings out Bisharp, goes for Sucker, I go for Sub. And then it's kind of more mind games, I guess you could say. Because um, then I get a free Dazzling Gleam off on him. Either way, and if he's, say, already at half or something, then it'll just take him out. Or I could potentially just end up behind the sub after beating Bisharp, and that would be really cool. Um, and then the speed EVs. Um, basically, Alkazam outspeeds everything on his team. The only thing that I have no way of outspeeding is a Scarf Salamence, so I didn't even bother trying because Scarf Salamence will outspeed me no matter what. Um, so the one thing that I could ensure that I outspeed is a Scarf Embor. So, um, the speed EVs I gave it gave me enough speed to outspeed regular Salamence before Mega Evolving. Uh, cause Salamence is 120, Alkazam is 130, so if I'm not maxed, uh, he definitely has a shot to outspeed me. So I outspeed, uh, regular Mence before Mega Evolving, and then obviously after. And then I also outspeed Scarf Embor, um... 
after Mega Evolving. So that'll be something I have to keep in mind. Um, I'm going to try and get the Mega Evolution off as quickly as possible. Um, so, yeah. Pretty simple set. Then just put the rest into HP. Um, for one, to help my subs. And two, to potentially help me take some more hits. Maybe like special hits really like... I doubt I'm taking any physical hits, but you never know what could happen. Uh, why not have the rest in HP? Uh, so yeah, Alexandre, pretty simple stuff. All right, so the last Pokemon I want to talk about is Nightlight. Uh, <laughs> I have some fun things going on with this one. Okay. All right, I was racking my brain forever because I really don't want him to get up Sticky Web. That kind of messes with a lot of what I got going on, and I don't appreciate it. Um, so, this is my ideal situation here, okay? Check it. He brings Galvantula. I see it. I lead Zebstrika, okay? He outspeeds me the first turn, which is where he would obviously try and go for Sticky Web. I go for Flame Charge. Now, I'm at plus one speed. I outspeed him. To it KO with Flame Charge, it's a wrap, Galvantula's gone. He did get up the Sticky Web. I could always attempt to Rapid Spin that away later. I would kind of have to, to be honest. Um, so, the Air Balloon situation with Dig Dug is going to get a little sketchy at some point, I'm sure. Um, but, I, it, I'll have to see what he brings. But, the priority of Sticky Web may or may not be an issue. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um... But, but, this is the real ideal situation, okay? Uh, Volt Switch for initiative, Thunderbolt, because, you know, it'll hit things like Blastoise and, you know, just damage right there. Life Orb does a lot. Um, I'm not bringing a uh, Volt Absorb or what's it called? Lightning Rod? Uh, because I'm going to assume that he would think I have that specifically for Galvantula. Uh, so he can't touch me. So maybe he goes for Energy Ball. I'm sure he would have Bug Buzz, but maybe he does that, and then I get plus one attack, and we're sitting pretty. Also, Sap Sipper helps me, so he can't Leech Seed or Seed Bomb. It gives me a switch for that against Gorgeist with my Zebstrika, which I can hit with Flamethrower. And it doesn't really do anything. Flamethrower does crap damage. Um, but with the Sap Sipper plus one, actually, I think it, it does a solid amount. Um... So that's cool. Another thing that I realized, uh, by Sharp just one shots me with Sucker, uh, Sucker Punch. So, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, I know you're all asking about the me first. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> all right. So remember I was talking about that ideal situation earlier. So we take out Galvantula. He sees that I have a life orb. So he says, all right. I mean, we'll, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Because he can obviously try and predict here. But the ideal situation, he goes Nidoqueen, is like, oh, I'm about to blow this man back with Earth Power. It would appear to him that my whole team is grounded. I mean, he can't go Sludge Wave anyways, because if I was Air Balloon, Excadrill, Sludge Wave, and Earth Power did not touch me. So he's like, screw it, I'm better off just going Earth Power. He clicks Earth Power, I click me first, Life Orb, Earth Power through me first, because for those of you who don't know how it works, because I didn't realize it, it copies the foe's move at 1.5 times f uh, power, and I must be faster, I'm obviously faster than Nidoqueen. So I hit Nidoqueen with Earth Power, bam, it's gone. And <laughs> oh, that would be beautiful. Uh, so that's like a little scenario I have up in my brain, and if that works, it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious. And also what I have this for is if I can get a flame charge off, I will be faster than um, a regular Mence. And if that's the case, I can attempt to me first again on an Outrage. And if I do that, I think it one shots. If not, it gets him down to practically dead. Um, so I can use me first for Outrage. And, you know, I can honestly use it for whatever I feel like using it for. Because Zebstreaker does outspeed the majority of his team. Um, so it's kind of whatever I'm feeling, to be honest. And if I can get a flame charge off, I can use it on anything. Uh, so we'll see what kind of scenarios present themselves. But those are the two ideal uh, scenarios I have. 
One, getting rid of Needle Queen just like nothing would be amazing because then say that's like Alvancho and Needle Queen gone. We're up six to four, like right in the first couple turns of the battle and we're good to go. Uh, hopefully, you know. Uh, also helping with the outrage thing, not being swept by Salamance is a big deal. Uh, so that would be really nice to not get swept by that. So uh, yeah, that's, that's what I brought that for. Simple uh, max speed, max special attack. I don't know if I need naive. Nah, eh, yeah, it's fine. Zebstrika's defenses and special defenses are so horrible. I died to like literally everything. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's gonna be the team, you guys. I'm sorry if this one was like a longer team build. I'm trying to take these more like seriously while still having fun with them. But um, I started like making the notes as I was doing it, so that way you guys would know what I was thinking as I was building the team. Uh, so this is what we're working with this week. Uh, comment down below what you think about the team, um, what you think about our opponent's team, and whatever else you feel like saying, thoughts, questions, concerns, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in our week one battle against the New London Zoroarks. So until then, I'm New Age Still. Keep on watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.